Hello and welcome to the Phone Gap in Intel XDK course by Eduonics. This course will be all about mobile web app development using web standards like HTML5, JavaScript, and CSS3. In Chapter 1, we'll basically discuss the mobile internet in general, uh, including what a web app is, what a native app is, and the difference. Uh, and of course we'll talk about hybrid apps which is basically what we'll be building um, the apps will appear as a native app but will actually be written in HTML5, JavaScript and CSS uh, we'll use PhoneGap and we'll also use Intel XDK to provide that native environment for us uh, we'll talk about HTML and CSS kind of a refresher course uh, but looking at it from a mobile standpoint, uh, same thing with JavaScript and jQuery. Chapter 2 will be an intro to PhoneGap. We'll talk about what it is, what it does, uh, the resources you can use, documentation. And we're going to focus mainly on Android development because that's what's hot right now. Um, to, to build and deploy an iOS app, which is an iPhone or an iPad app, uh, you need to actually pay a $99 fee uh, and you need a special code. So we'll be focusing on Android, but it really, it really doesn't matter which platform we're aiming for because we can do it all using PhoneGap. Um, but I will show you how to build with the Android SDK and the Eclipse editor. Uh, this was kind of the, the first way of, of developing PhoneGap Android apps, um, but it's, it's, a, it's a little tougher. Uh, you have to install a bunch of software on your computer. Um, the, the, the more upgraded or updated method of building Android apps or any apps with PhoneGap, PhoneGap is PhoneGap Build, which is at, at build.phonegap.com and you basically just upload only your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and it'll spit out a native app file or an APK for instance for Android and you could just install that right on your device so PhoneGap build is really uh, the method we'll be using so we'll also build our first app which will be a very very simple app uh, and we'll also look at how we can install that app onto the actual device. Chapter 3, we'll look at some of the PhoneGap location APIs. We'll look at the accelerometer, which will show us the acceleration of the actual device, turning it and whatever, throwing it up in the air, whatever. It'll, it'll, it'll grab all those readings for us. Uh, and that, that's used mostly for game development, when, where you would tip the the device to steer a car or something like that. Uh, we'll look at geolocation which is very popular right now. Uh, it will pinpoint a user's location which could be used for unlimited uh, types of applications. Uh, we'll look at how to get the latitude and longitude coordinates and then we'll look at how to actually paste that on a map using Google Maps API and again we'll we'll test this on the actual device <clears throat> chapter four we'll look at camera capture and contacts which are three of the phone gap apis we can use the camera api to either take a picture and use it in our app or we can actually grab a picture that's already on the device and use that uh, with the capture api we can capture images We'll also capture audio, uh, and then we'll deal with contacts. We'll be able to add a contact to our device using our app. Chapter 5 will probably be the longest chapter of the series. Um, we're going to learn all about file and storage using PhoneGap. Uh, we'll see how we can type, we'll create an app where we type in the URL of a file and we can download it right to our phone's file structure or our device's file structure, we'll be able to create and write to a text file on the, on the device. And we'll also get into jQuery Mobile, which is a mobile web framework, 
which allows us to create nice buttons and links and inputs uh, and, and also allows us to use Ajax navigation for, for multiple pages. Uh, we'll build an application that will read the directory on the, on the device. It will read all the folders and files and display them. Uh, and then we'll create a little task manager project and we're going to build it once using the local storage API and then we're going to build the same the, almost the same exact thing except we're going to use SQL we're going to use a web SQL database which is pretty much like a client-side database in chapter 6 we'll get into Intel XDK uh, it's a cross-platform HTML development framework HTML5 development framework um, we will install it. it you can actually install it as a Chrome extension um, we'll look at something called app starter which is a, a GUI tool to create our create an app with buttons and an input and, and and different kinds of uh, elements and we'll also look at the app framework which is another mobile framework kind of like jQuery, jQuery mobile uh, so we'll get into that and we'll also look at the App Mobi APIs. Intel XDK was actually first known as App Mobi, so it uses App Mobi in the um, in the APIs and in the methods. And we'll look at geolocation, camera, accelerometer, and contacts. Now we I know we looked at these in PhoneGap, but now we're going to look at and see what the difference is from. Intel XDK to PhoneGap with these APIs. And we're going to build a single application that will do for all these these four operations and we'll deal with these four APIs. In chapter 8, we'll test our application or project and we'll use App Lab to do that. I'll show you how to um, go to the App Store and download App Lab and then set it up so we can actually test on your device. Next we'll look at some app debugging features that Intel offers us so we can actually open up a console uh, and it'll show all our console logs and errors. Uh, and then finally we'll look at submitting apps to the app stores. Now we're not going to actually do this process. We're not going to submit our app because it's, it's really just a learning tool. Um, but I will go through the documentation and show you the links and process of, of, the, of how to do that. So that will be it. That will wrap up our course. There's a, a lot of information packed in here. Um, I'm really excited to get started and I hope you learn a lot from it.